Hey everyone. So this is our 10th anniversary uh, and what a year it's been, um, you know, set against sort of the backdrop of a pandemic and, and global unrest and, and tremendous uncertainty. Um, you know, I, we've, we've been through a lot, um, but it's so incredibly important. And, and as I look back on the year, um, you know, it's been a good year. Um, you guys came together amidst sort of all this global uncertainty and worked incredibly well as a team. Um, and I'm, I'm just really proud and, and happy about what we've been able to accomplish. I guess when I look back at the year, um, the biggest uh, emotion that comes to my mind and the biggest thought um, that comes to my mind is gratitude. And that, that gratitude is for, for all of you. We look at what we've accomplished, um, just so many things. Um, on the production facility, we went from a hole in the ground uh, at the beginning of the year to nearly completing the shell of the largest nuclear medicine production facility in the world. Um, this is something that's gonna meet the needs of patients for decades uh, and, and be able to produce, you know, like 20 million doses a year, maybe more. Uh, but you guys made the sacrifices that this company needed, that, that patients needed and kept the project on track. Uh, and, and that's just incredible. And, and so for everybody who worked so hard on that and made, made sacrifices and came together as a team to get that done, you know, I'm so incredibly grateful to you guys. Um, we launched our therapeutics business uh, and, and really in record time um, w went from sort of just validating a product to, to commercial sales and, and now building one is going to be converted um, to, to produce therapeutic isotopes that can be used in clinical trials in the first quarter of next year. I mean, really record time. Uh, and, and now we're breaking ground. We have broke ground on a, a larger production facility. It's going to be able to make 300,000 doses of therapeutic medicine uh, every year. Um, really cool and really important for patients. These products are going to save a lot of lives um, at the end of the day and, and we're going to play a major role, potentially, uh, you know, the largest producer in the world. I think that's our, you know, that's definitely our plan and I think that's where we're going to be. Um, so really, really excited about that and for everyone who worked so many long hours and weekends and everything on the therapeutics business, made that happen and everybody around Shine who supported them, I'm really grateful. Uh, we started to build a strong team in Europe. Um, we've started to hire people in Europe, but we've also had cross-functional support from much of the U.S. team in our efforts there. Uh, and now we've got um, you know, our site selection process down to two sites. Uh, we're really excited about both of them. Either one of them uh, could win right now, and, and both of them really want us, which is great. Um, that's a wonderful position to be in. I guess with that, it, it's just been a great year. Um, I'll go out on a limb here. Um, 2020 was better than 2019. and <laughs> 2019 was an awesome year. Uh, so when you look at everything we've done, I know it's been hard. I know it's been a grind, but boy, has it been an incredible year. So, um, you know, I just want to thank you all so much for your dedication to Shine, uh, to patients all over the world, um, to even to our local community, and just to excellence in your work. Um, there's definitely no other team in the world who could do uh, what we've done. Um, this was our best year yet, and, and for everything, uh, you've done uh, for us and for the world. I'm, I'm just so, so incredibly grateful. Hey team, happy end of 2020. It's been a wild ride, a long year. Uh, I hope that looking back on this year, you can be proud of how far we've come. We've been able to accomplish amazing things together. If you remember at the beginning of 2020, our very first press release of the year was a successful testing of lutetium-177 by GE Healthcare, proving that we had the ability to meet the European monograph for lutetium. But we didn't stop there. We improved the process. We tested it again and again. And by the second half of the year, we had shipped samples of our lutetium product to four different customers in four different countries. And one of those included our very first commercial sale. Um, so our first sale of lutetium, our first invoice out the door, and our very first revenue in the door. Uh, that was a really incredibly proud moment for me and I hope you can feel the same thing. We were also able to break ground on Cassiopeia, our large scale production facility for lutetium 177, which is really just the seed of something much greater to come uh, over 2021 and 2022. So we have a lot to look forward to.
Shine on. 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 Shine on.